Hello. Shalom. Rastafari. Greetings, my brothers and sisters. What we want to touch on right now, right here and right now, is the Book of the Seven Seals. Now, we've been speaking on the Book of the Seven Seals, the Metaf Kedus of Kedemar Wihad Selassie, or the HIM Bible, the Emperor's, the Ethiopian Emperor's Bible. But what we like to do in this particular um, vlog and lecture is to go into a little bit more of the details, to get into the details of the book. Now, we've mentioned this uh, preliminary notes. This is our one of the first um, books or volumes that we have published, uh, the Rastafari uh, preliminary um, notes on the HIM, His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie I, um, Amharic Bible, an introduction, as an introduction to the Book of the Seven Seals. And those who are interested in uh, purchasing a copy can go to our website, www.lojsociety.org forward slash books, and you can find this particular book there and some other books that you might be interested in as well. Now, this particular preliminary notes is just as it is. It's a preliminary notes into the Bible, His Majesty's Bible, but more addressing some of the background leading up to His Imperial Majesty's Bible and comparing some of the other attempts at translation, so forth and so on, as well as some of the historical, prophetical, and the eschatological links of Haile Selassie the First's Bible, which this right here is is a copy of right here, which we call and know as the Book of the Seven Seals. Now, as you can see this right here on the back of right here, you see this right here. These are the seven seals. If you look at it carefully, it says, uh, Top line is, The bottom line is, Metaf Kedus. And as you can see clearly right there, it's on the back of the book or what's known as the spine, the spine of the book. Not cover, not back, but the back of the book. Not the, see, some people think the back of the book would be this side. We don't read the book this way as some Jewish and the Arabic and some of the older even uh, scriptures are written from, uh, from right to left, but rather is from left to right. So both sides of the book can be and are known as backs of the book, but the real, quote, back of the book is this portion of the book right here. And we know there's seven seals. Now, the, the word for seals, we discussed this somewhat in um, uh, Rastafari, Rastafari preliminary notes. We, we discussed this briefly here that... Um, a seal. What is a seal? You understand? So what is a seal? So when we really study this issue and we get into the detail, each of these particular matters we would have to go one by one to really address. What is a seal? What is the back of the book? You understand? What are the scriptures, the prophetic scriptures? But I think what many are probably most interested in now and should get some basic information, some basic knowledge of is what are these seven seals or types of books? As we explain it in its historical and practical relevancy, there are seven types of books that are found in the Metaf Kedus. There are seven types of scriptures. But now, in addition to this book, because people ask, well, how many, how many books are, are in the Haile Selassie Bible? And some are a little bit shocked when we say, well, it's 66 books. Others would say, well, there are 81 books. That is true. No doubt. And his majesty translated as well those other 15 books. So those, those 81 books would be contained in the middle part, what would be known as the middle part, the Old Testament, the New Testament. Then you have, for lack of a better word, a Middle Testament, or is often called the apocryphal, the so-called apocryphal Book. So what we're going to discuss right here is go into some details of what are these um, seven books, and we're going to name them 
and give a brief a brief outline a brief outline into exactly what these what these books are and what is contained in these particular books now we can begin this off by even comparison what do we what, what do we mean by comparison we can compare well according to different christian denominations and even the jews say that the jews have what they call the tanakh you understand and the tanakh is the is the torah the nabim and the ketubim and we've addressed that briefly we can look at the the christian old testament new testament idea and there appears to be two different books one book is old testament one book is new testament but then the obvious question comes about well what about the apocryphal books? What about the other books like the book of Hanok or Enoch? What about the book of, 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 of Jubilees? Where is that contained? What about the book of, everyone always speaks about this, especially among I and I, the Maccabees? What about the book of Maccabees? And we also want to put a word out for um, Rasafikada. Rasafikada, uh, another Rastafari brother, has also translated um, the Ethiopian or the Ethiopic book of Maccabees. There is the Ethiopian or the Ethiopic book of Maccabees. And you can look that up on the internet and hopefully obtain a copy of that as well. A brother named Ras Fikada has done that translation in Iyeric, in the Iyeric. Not the plain in English, but I think he might have done a version in the plain English as well. So, let us get into this particular study on the book of the seven seals. Let us begin off from, from scriptures. I think it will be better and best for us to begin, with, um, to begin with our scriptures. So get your scriptures. Get your scriptures and let us... Um, and let us and let us begin this portion, this portion of our lecture. I have a lot of notes right here, and um, you know, a pro because to answer all the different, you know, questions that that um, are out there, and questions that even if they seem, you know, some people say, well, this might seem like a silly question, or so forth and so on. Really, no questions really. A silly question is whether we're able to accept the answer, you know, as what it is, or because sometimes people have their own idea about what the answer should be. So if it's not that particular answer, or if it's not what they think it should be, they basically might pretend themselves not to understand, you know, the question or to understand the answer. Now we want to just set up right here a little bit so you can see the. Um, so you can probably see the the board the board clearly because we might have to write probably have to write um, all over the board for this. So this is going to be called um, the Book of the Seven Seals. Let's just call it the Book of the Seven Seals. All right, the Book of the Seven Seals. Now. First, let's define what seal means. What does seal mean? Within the context of what we are stating here and demonstrating here, what is a seal? Can someone tell me, well, what is a seal, even just from English? We can look up in the dictionary, and Webster's is a good, is a good reference. We often use it. We often recommend that ones do look in the Webster's. But what is a seal? What is a seal, first and foremost? What is a seal? Think about that for a moment. Now, a seal, we wanted to find this other, this other document. Some of you all probably have seen it before. Uh, I don't know if we had lent it out or if it's just been misplaced. There was another document that we wanted to, you know, we like to go to, to other references because, you know, these are references which might be a little more trusted or at least we can begin off from other references. What is a seal? 
If you have a dictionary, go take a moment and, 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 and look it up. Come in, just just hold hold up for one moment. I wanna find this wanna find this book. What is uh what is the seal? What is the seal? Well okay, we'll 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 get back to that. Um we'll get back to that particular document. Um what is a seal? What is a seal? Because there's many ways that this particular uh, question can be. Perhaps we'll just go to, we'll go to Webster's. Should we just go to Webster's? Let's just go to Webster's. Hold on for, hold on for one moment, if you will. You understand? If, if you don't see me here speaking, I'm coming straight forward. Um, a seal. Okay, we'll probably bring that, bring that in, bring that in, and we, we we talk about it in our in, in in our volume. We could actually go to a quote from our particular volume for 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 seal. So it's in our book as well, because I was approaching it from a from a Christian or. Uh, we can say an eschatological kind of perspective as a Christian, but some would say, well, that's subjected to, you know, how Christians have been taught to to look at things. So let's just look in the dictionary first and foremost. Sorry, we apologize about that brief um being away from the camera for a moment. Now here it says a it has two definitions of a seal. We're not going to talk about the the. the the creature seal, 